I may have hit my very first snag with Walmart's grocery pickup. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you a midweek grocery haul. I did mention to you guys during my meal plan that I would be making a midweek grocery haul and using Walmart's grocery pickup. Uh, I made sure to sit down. I had a lot of fun sitting in my PJs in my bed. It took me about 30 minutes to compile my grocery list into my cart, picked my location, my timestamp, and then when it got down to the payment, it only gave me the option to pay by debit card or credit card. It wouldn't let me use a gift card. It wouldn't accept any other option, any other form of credit card, just a debit card and a credit card and the Walmart card. So I was a little disappointed because I had a gift card and my bill was like 8238 and I did not want to spend that out of pocket when I had a gift card that would cover most of that. So I ended up in store and in store I only spent $71 and 38 cents so I don't know how I ended up saving $11 walking in the store but I didn't exactly get everything on my list I used the cart in my app as my list while I was walking through the store but not everything the store had did this store have and so forth but um, I did spend the $71 and I will share with you now what I got so here's a quick overview. It's not exactly what my list was, but it's pretty darn close. So I'm happy that I saved money and at least I got the primary things that I needed. So I don't know what is so new about this because Great Value always had their own brand of like snacks, but all of these were 92 cents. I thought that was really surprising to me because they're never normally that cheap. The packaging looks different to me, so I'm not exactly sure exa what they changed. Maybe the amount in the box. I don't really know, but I got the Great Value Fudge Brownies. There's six in the box, so it's just the regular brownie with the chocolate chips on it. And then I got Hubby the uh, Swiss Cake Snack Rolls. He really loves these. It's like a yodel. And then I also got him the peanut butter wafer bars, which just happens to be his favorite. And so all those were 92 cents. Those were not my original order because they didn't have that um, on the pickup. Uh, I did get um, the kids the organic Z bars in the chocolate chip just to hold them over until we can get to Trader Joe's. And then this was a special treat for hubby since yesterday was his birthday. Um, this is a new Hostess Brownie and it's Butterfinger flavor. So he's going to go completely bonkers for that. So I'm excited to give him that. Uh, I got our normal two gallons of milk. I absolutely hated the milk from all these yesterday. I am such a milk snob. There's only certain milk that I like from certain places. And Walmart happens to be at the almost very, very top of the list to get my milk. So I did go and get two gallons. And the doctor says that Maya doesn't need whole milk anymore. So we are back to 2%, which makes me very happy. Uh, I got a tub of sour cream. It's cheaper at Walmart than BJ's. And a tub of the ricotta cheese since I'm sharing this recipe in a vlog this week uh, for a bunch of you guys who wanted to see my mom's uh, ricotta cheese pasta recipe. So I picked that up. I got two of the Totino's pizza and pepperoni and hamburger for Jake. He said he wanted to switch up from the non-pizza for a little while. I got these little tiny cakes. I've never seen them before. I saw them on the grocery store pickup and then went searching for them and found them, but they were only 50 cents, which I thought is really good. Um, and they don't expire for 10 days. So uh, I got this little, um, this one's just a little mini chocolate cake. And then this one's a cinnamon cake. And then this one here at the bottom is I think Daryl's going to be Daryl's favorite, which is the lemon. So I thought those were really cute for, th you know, $1.50 for three of them, just as a little snack for the cabinet. I'm always on the hunt for yogurt things and little pouches for the kids because they love these kind of pouch things on the go. My kids are constantly in motion and they love to just grab something I can hand them while they run past me. So these are the something I've never seen before. They're called Organic Slammers by Go Gourmet. And this one is called Chillin' Filled with Goodness. And it's apples, bananas, blueberries, butternut squash, Greek yogurt, and yumberry. 
So I thought that would be good. It says it's a pureed superfood snack. So I love that. And then this one is called Amped. And it's apples, strawberries, cherry, purple carrots, and chia seed with sweet cherries. So I thought that was a really nice, like, these are just nice, really good, like, antioxidant things to help the kids since they're not feeling their best. I got a can of my cheddar cheese just to stock in the cabinet for nachos and things like that. Got my bag of mix, mixed vegetables for my pot pie recipe. Got the pizza crust that I needed for pizza this week. They did not have the rolled dough, so I had to get the sheet crust. This I have never seen before, and I'm so excited about it. It was a little bit expensive. It was like $5.98, but this is a huge, gigantic box. It says it's 80 ounces. This is like six months worth of pancake mix, but it's the Cracker Barrel from the Old Country Store, and we love Cracker Barrel and we love their pancakes. So I thought that would be a really something fun to try. I think everyone will be excited to see that I picked that up. I got a box of Shake and Bake for our um, pork chops tonight. Got a box of the Bunch of Blueberry Organic Pop Tarts for the little ones. Jake wanted these chicken strip banquet meals. So this is the three chicken fingers with the macaroni and cheese and corn. I picked him up the Duke's Original Recipe Smokes Sausages. I'm going to look for the bigger one in BJ's. I saw Vanessa Hall, the big one from Costco, so I'm hoping I can get it in BJ's. If not, I'm going to have to search them out online because my kid can seriously eat the, this entire bag in a day. So I definitely need to um, scout out a bigger version of that because he swears by them. Uh, I absolutely love these Frosted Krispies. Guilty, not sorry. I love these Krispies, and they only come out during the winter time. So I picked these up for myself, and it is my guilty pleasure, and I can't wait to have a midnight bowl of cereal, which is my favorite time to eat those. Uh, they didn't have Jake's, like, Malta meal chocolate marshmallow cereal, but they had just regular Lucky Charms chocolate version um, with the marshmallow, so I picked that up for him. Uh, I'm actually out of shredded cheese. It is, like, blasphemy to run out of cheese, um, but I am going to BJ's this week, so I did get the Great Value Fiesta Blend, which was $2.07, nowhere near the good deal for just this one pound of cheese that it is um, at BJ's, but this will just hold me over for nacho night and all of that until uh, I can get there this week. And then the very last thing that I got was the 18 large organic cage-free brown eggs, which happen to be my favorite eggs right now. They are really delicious. And that is what I got for $71 at Walmart. Okay guys, so that is it for my midweek grocery haul. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I hope you take the time to subscribe. I do do a bunch of, do do, I love saying that, it's the funniest thing ever. Uh, I do do lots of grocery hauls and tons of other things on this channel, so I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.